there's a little town in uh, Nebraska, Minowi, population one. Actually, this sign is incorrect. There's only one person in this village. Everybody else moved away. It says that this particular person is in charge of a library and basically they're running the village and you know broad is the way that leads to destruction most people go that way there's a narrow road and few there be that find it and there is a scripture you need to know about it has to do with Moshiach ben David and his boim, boim. The word boim, B-O-I-M, is the word for tree. And we know that um, this word right here from Second Shmuel chapter 18, Then said, Yoav, I will not tarry thus with thee. And he took three shivat, shivatim. These are like darts or sh small, so, uh, small spears in his hand. And thrust them into the Lev of Shalom while he was yet alive in the midst of the tree. So here you have the son of David hanging on a tree between heaven and earth. And here you see he spears three times. And we know that Moshek ben David was pierced in his left hand, his, his wrist, his right wrist, and his feet. Three piercings. And basically, the, the fourth one was not really that important because he was already dead, as, as I recall. He actually gave up his spirit. And Moshe ben David says this. He says, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his poem and follow me. If if Avshalom ben David had a poem, if Moshiach ben David had a poem, if it says they will look upon me whom they have pierced and mourn for him, that me and that him, Zechariah chapter 12 verse 10 and then Zahariah chapter 6 verses 11 and 12 which says Moshiach's name would be Yeshua or Yehoshua if if they had a boim if I want to go where he is I have to have one too yes and you know there's only one person in Monowi, Nebraska. And we don't know how many people are going to be going to heaven. Heaven might not be populated with that many people. Because broad is the way that leads to destruction. And most people go that way. Narrow is the way that leads to life and few there be who find it. And the ones who want to go to heaven, they have to deny themselves and pick up their boim and follow him. So you got Avshalom ben David with his boim, Moshiach ben David with his boim, and you with your boim. And the boim 
is the Etz Hayim, the tree of life. Because if you find that, you find life. Whoever tries to keep his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, Moshiach says, will find it. So Lord, I'm going to ask you tonight to show me my poem. Show everyone who's listening to this what the boim is that they must carry. Each one has a different boim, but the Lord carries the heaviest part of the boim. And just as Simon of Cyrene came along and helped Moshiach carry his boim, so Moshiach himself comes along and helps us carry ours. And the Supreme Court justices, some of them are believers, and they have a heavy poem to carry. The Lord showed them. He wanted them to overturn a hideous, murderous, evil Herod the Great, the murder of the innocents in Bethlehem, type of law today June the 24th 2022 and this is going to be a heavy boim for them to carry because they're going to be protests death threats all kinds of character assassination and maybe even a an attempt or even maybe an actual assassination which has already been attempted on one of them. So Lord, I want to pray for the Supreme Court justices that they will carry their boim because there are many Clarence Thomases among the little black babies that might otherwise be murdered. But they're going to have a birth, they're going to be raised, and they're going to do great things like Clarence Thomas did. Yes. They're going to do great things because they're going to be allowed to live and their mother is not going to murder them. And this is going to be true of many of these little African American babies. So this is a day of triumph for African Americans. It's uh, on the same magnitude of the freeing of the slaves. Because at least these slaves were alive. Juneteenth. But these little babies didn't even have that opportunity. They were killed even before they could be born. So we want to thank you, Lord, for this great victory today. And I pray, Lord, that the hearts of the stony-hearted people who want to murder babies and think that this is the way to go so that in a way murdering babies can be a new kind of birth control for many people who just want to have their pleasure at any cost Lord I pray right now for every person who's ever had an abortion that they will come into the saving knowledge of salvation that God has forgiven them and that they will see their baby in heaven as yes. King David was told. Yes. And oh God, we want to pray that many young girls who want to have abortions and they think they have to go into a back alley and risk their life in some unclean place will find salvation. And the Lord will save their life and their baby's life. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. And life, all life, is a gift from the Lord because all are in the image of God. And we pray, Amen. dear God, for a great revival in America, starting at the Supreme Court, starting today, June the 24th, 2022. Yeshua. 
Thank you for every baby, born and unborn. Yes. Thank you for every mother. Thank you for the salvation. Thank you that these justices picked up their boim and did the hard thing, the courageous thing. Help us to do likewise because we can't get to heaven unless we pick up our boim and follow him. He had a boim that he dragged all the way to the gates of heaven through an empty tomb to the glory clouds where he had come from as the Baranosh. He dragged that boim all the way there and we pray Lord we will be able to drag ours all the way there and follow him all the way there in Yeshua's name. Amen.